Hi, welcome to the Government Energy Aggregation Presentation brought to you by Commercial Utility Consultants Incorporated. Commercial Utility Consultants, also known as CUC, was founded in 1975 and we have worked with over 10,000 clients, saving them over $2 billion on their energy costs. CUC utilizes an energy auction platform as well as a New Jersey Municipal Aggregation Tracking Platform specifically designed for aggregation programs. CUC was appointed by the Burlington County Bridge Commission as the energy agent to run the Government Energy Aggregation Program for Burlington County. CUC is licensed by the BPU as a private aggregator, energy agent, an energy consultant. We are a local New Jersey team committed to succeed. Here is a look at some of our New Jersey residential aggregation clients. What is energy deregulation? Energy deregulation is the separation of distribution and supply. New Jersey has been deregulated since 1999, and since then, only 20% of the residential customer base has switched to a third-party electric supplier that they have chosen. As illustrated in the picture below, before 1999, the local distribution company, also known as the LDC, would generate electricity and bill you for the supply and distribution portion of your bill. After 1999, the LDC was only responsible for the distribution of your electricity. Your LDC must buy elect electricity from third-party suppliers. When the LDC bills you, they will bill you for the distribution and supply portion of your bill and remit the supply portion to the suppliers who generated the electricity. In order to make up your current electric default rate, the Board of Public Utilities, also known as the BPU, runs a statewide auction. The auction makes up the basic generation service portion of your bill, which is also known as the supply portion of your bill. On your current bill, you can see these charges by finding the line item named BGS. Here's a look at some of the suppliers that make up the BGS default rate for PSE and G. Here's a look at some of the suppliers that make up the BGS default rate for JC, P, and L. And here is a look at some of the suppliers that make up the default rate for Atlantic City Electric. What is Government Energy Aggregation? The Government Energy Aggregation Act of 2003 was passed allowing counties and municipalities to aggregate their load and compete against the default rate provided by the default electric companies. In 2012, NJAC Title 14 was passed, allowing municipalities to aggregate the residential customers to compete for a cheaper price to compare versus the current default rate. All bid documents and agreements are sent to the BPU and Rate Council for review prior to the energy auction. The Department of Community Affairs also known as the DCA, has oversight throughout the entire auction process. Here's a look at our aggregation outreach. After the auction, if a supplier is awarded, there will be an initial opt-out period for 30 days. If you do not opt out, you will be automatically enrolled in the program and enjoy the savings. 
The program will only include residents who are not currently with a third party supplier. For residents that do wish to opt out, there are many methods. You may send in the mail return, you may call our 800 number, or you may visit our website www.njaggregation.us. Residents can opt out at any time after the program begins with no penalty. Also, if a resident has opted out, they may opt back into the program with no penalty as well. What happens after the initial opt-out period? After the opt-out period, your utility will send a switch-over letter. This letter comes directly to you from your local distribution company. This letter confirms the switch over to the winning supplier. Here is a sample PSE and G bill. Notice the yellow arrow. This is the only line item on your bill that will change. The BGS line item will be replaced with the winning supplier from the auction. Here's a look at a sample Atlantic City Electric bill. Again, the only line item that will change will be the basic generation service. And here is a sample JCP&L bill. Again, the only line item that will change is illustrated by the yellow arrow. The basic generation service line item will be replaced with the winning supplier from the auction. Here are some frequently asked questions. Who do I call if my energy goes out? You will still call your local distribution company as they still remain responsible and always will be responsible for the distribution lines entering your home. Will I be penalized if I do not become part of this program? No, you may opt out at any time for any reason with no penalty. Will there be a different or two separate bills? No, you will still receive one bill from your local distribution company. Does this hurt JCP&L, PSE&G, or Atlantic City Electric? No, they will always remain your distribution company and only bill you for distribution and supply. They will submit the supply portion to the winning supplier rather than the default suppliers that make up the BGS current default rate. Who do I call with billing questions? You may call your local distribution company, the winning supplier from the energy auction, or commercial utility consultants. If I opt out, can I opt back in? Yes, you may opt out or opt in at any time for any reason. Is budget billing offered? Yes, if you are currently on a budget bill with your local distribution company, you can continue the budget billing through this program. What if I already have a third party supplier? If you are currently on a third party supplier, you must wait till the end of your contract and then you may opt into the program. Why do I have to opt out versus opting in? The opt out option is an aspect of the program written by the Board of Public Utilities, not by the county or CUC. The law requires us to follow the statutory guidelines in order to establish and participate in this type of program. Thank you for watching, and to learn more, please visit us at www.njaggregation.us or call 
1855-200-2648. Thank you.